On our last episode, we took a few moments to immerse ourselves in the sounds of nature. We wanted to give you a little audio vacation, free from the worries of life. We got so many positive responses to that episode that we decided to do it again. So join us as we step away from the stress and into the wild. I'm Chris Morgan. On this special episode of The Wild, we're going to hear audio from my friend Gordon Hampton. Gordon has spent his life recording the sounds of the natural world. Today, he takes us to the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State, near Ozette Lake. It's springtime. As the daylight fades over this wetland, the Pacific tree frog comes to life. They're also known as Pacific chorus frogs. It's mating season. Males use a choral song to attract a mate. The louder, the better. The males position themselves near rocks or logs to amplify their song. It's hard to imagine they're no more than two inches long. These calls might sound the same, but to the female tree frog, she can sort through as many as eight different calls at once as she zeroes in on a partner. Once she finds her mate, she'll lay up to 750 eggs near the water's edge. Only a few will survive to adulthood, continuing the cycle and the chorus once again. Let's leave the Pacific chorus frogs and head further south on the Olympic Peninsula, Queets Valley. You can hear the sound of the Queets River in the distance. Sitka spruce tower overhead. A male elk stands still with several female elk at his side, his harem. Another bull, deep beyond the conifers, cries out. an elk bugle. This distinct rutting call gets higher and ends with a series of grunts. Bulls make this sound to intimidate other bulls and attract cow elk. Elk have poor eyesight. They are sonic creatures. This bull is trying to lure cows away from the competing bull's harem. Several of the females call back. These calls echo through the valley, mingling together, overlapping, creating a soundscape that is both primal and haunting.
We leave the Olympic Peninsula and take a journey. A journey that plays out every springtime here in Washington State. Imagine you're on top of a snow-covered mountain. It's a natural cycle, as old as time. Snowpack, slowly melting. A trickle at first. Droplets gather, forming a stream. A hypnotic swirl, gentle at first, but gaining strength as gravity draws more tributaries together. A river is born. It gathers sediment and other debris, carving out valleys, reshaping mountains. Finally, the river meets the sea. The Pacific Ocean. Delivering gravel and pebbles. The waves, like sandpaper, further reshaping the land. This water that has traveled so far will eventually evaporate, transformed into snow or rain and deposited back on top of the mountain to begin the cycle all over again. These sounds of the ocean the bugling elk and the Pacific chorus frogs were recorded by Gordon Hempton, the sound tracker and co-founder of Quiet Parks International. You can find out more information about Gordon's work at our website, thewildpod.org. The Wild is a production of KUOW in Seattle and me, Chris Morgan, with support from Wildlife Media. This special edition of The Wild was produced by Jim Gates and Brendan Sweeney, with help from Matt Martin and David Brown. I'm your host, Chris Morgan. We're going to take a break for a few months as we work on producing more episodes, but The Wild will be back again in February, so please stick around. We may still slip in a few things in the meantime, but we just wanted to let you know that we'll be busy producing new stories for you. If you've enjoyed our podcast, please do tell a friend or write us a review on Apple Podcasts. It really does help to get the word out and enables us to produce more episodes. Thanks. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy some sounds of nature from your own corner of the world. Just close your eyes and listen. Be well. <laughs>